Okay, here we are again. AMI day three work. Go to classroom again. Go down to AMI assignments. Oh no, this is day four. We're cooking. Um, we're going to go to day four assignments. And today, what are we reading about? We, oh hey, we are reading, oh wrong thing to click on. That's the, those are the questions. We are reading about, oh, let's see, one of my favorite articles, Jackie Robinson. Short and sweet, but oh, Jackie is a hero, isn't he? Let me see if I can make, oh, no. I finally got up off the floor. I'm not on the floor anymore. Can I make that small? Yeah. My shrinky dink this thing. I just couldn't stand not being face to face with you. We're so isolated. Okay, let's look. Time and setting of the letter. Jackie Robinson responded to presidential civil rights comments amid continuing controversy over school desegregation efforts in Little Rock, Arkansas. So this is close to home here in the South. In September 1957, Governor Orville Faubus was ordered, uh, had ordered the Arkansas National Guard to prevent entry of non-African American students into that city's central high school. <clears throat> Most of us here in Arkansas know about that event. President Eisenhower um, reluctantly, well, I didn't know it was reluctantly, sent U.S. troops to enforce the school's integration. This is from the National Archives and Records Administration, Dwight D. Eisenhower Library, um, Abilene, Kansas. Copy of the Jackie Robinson letter, May 13, 1958. The President. The White House, Washington, D.C. My dear Mr. President, I was sitting in the audience at the summit meeting of Negro leaders yesterday when you said we must have patience. On hearing you say this, I felt like standing up and saying, oh, no, not again. I respectfully remind you, sir, that we have been the most patient of all people. When you said we must have self-respect, I wondered how we could have self-respect and remain patient considering the treatment according, accorded us through the years. 17 million Negroes cannot do as you suggest and wait for the hearts of men to change. We want to enjoy now the rights that we feel we are entitled to as Americans. This we cannot do unless we pursue aggressively goals which all other Americans achieved over 150 years ago. As the chief executive of our nation, I respectfully suggest that you unwittingly crush the spirit of freedom in Negroes by constantly urging forbearance and give hope to those pro-segregation leaders that, like Governor Faubus, who would take from us even those freedoms we now enjoy. Your own experience with Governor Faubus is proof enough that forbearance and not eventual integration is the goal the pro-segregation leaders seek. In, any, in my view, an unequivocal statement backed up by action such as you demonstrated you could take last fall in dealing with Governor Faubus if it became necessary would let it be known that America is determined to provide in the near future for Negroes the freedoms we are entitled to under the Constitution. Respectfully yours, Jackie Robinson. This came from the federal document, Jackie Robinson's letter to President Eisenhower, U.S. National Archives at Records Administration, accessed January 29th, 2014. And it gives you the link where you could find that document. So when we go back to classroom, remember what we just read. We're going to look at AMI Day 4 questions. And we'll see question number one. What does Jackie Robinson try to persuade the reader of this, of his letter of? 
that should probably say, of what does Jackie Robinson try to persuade the reader of his letter? What does he want his, the reader of his letter to do? The president needs to support African-American civil rights through his words and actions. The president needs to send U.S. troops to school across the south, schools across the South to enforce the desegregation of schools. Pro-segregation leaders like Governor Faubus will continue to resist the integration of schools or President Eisenhower's speech at the summit meeting of Negro leaders offended many people. What does he try to persuade the president to do? Or the reader of the letter? Of what does he try to persuade the reader of the letter? Number two, the effort of desegregate to desegregate schools in the South was met with resistance. What evidence from the passage supports this conclusion? Ooh, okay, President Eisenhower reluctantly sent U.S. troops to enforce school integration in Arkansas. At the summit meeting of Negro leaders, President Eisenhower told the assembled African Americans that they must have patience. C. Governor Faubus ordered the Arkansas National Guard to prevent African Americans from entering school. Or D. Jackie Robinson wrote a letter to President Eisenhower about his civil rights comments. Okay, so the effort to desegregate schools in the South was met with resistance. What evidence from the passage supports this conclusion? A, B, C, or D. Next, how did Jackie Robinson likely feel when writing his letter? Relieved and happy, upset and impatient, jealous and angry, tired and satisfied. Next, what is the central message of Jackie Robinson's letter? A. President Eisenhower took the wrong action when dealing with Governor Faubus. B. African Americans must be patient of and wait for their civil rights. C. African Americans should have the right to attend integrated schools. Or D. African Americans cannot be patient and wait for their civil rights. Next, choose the answer that best completes the sentence below. According to Jackie Robinson, African Americans have been very patient while waiting for their civil rights. Semicolon. Now, put each one of these in this blank. They blank. They can no longer wait for things to change. Meanwhile, for example, in the end, however. So reread the sentence and put each one of those in there before you choose. Hope this helps you guys. Miss you. See you soon, I hope. Oops.